Yeah, Jedediah, just out here trying to get it, man. By any means necessary, you feel me? Yeah, let's go. 24 7 hard work and dedication. Yo, what's good, y'all? My name is Jedediah, and this is the Jedediah Podcast. Today, we have a special guest in the building, the one and only Doughboy Sauce. What's good, my man? How you feeling? Oh, man, I'm just cool. What about yourself? I'm cool, man. I'm cool. Great to have you on the show. Uh, for people who don't know, what, where, where exactly are we right now? Uh, we're Black Ink Houston, man. Yeah. Um, a shop that, that, that I'm part owner of yeah. uh, right here in Houston, Texas, man. It's, it's the same show, the same shop that y'all see on TV. Mm. It's just the one that we have in Houston. By the grace of God, I was able to bring it to Houston, you know what I'm saying? So okay. right here on Richmond. Right How by. many black, uh, black Ink shops are there? Uh, I think total, I think there's nine, mm-hmm. eight or nine. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. How long How long have you guys been here? Actually, on the 30th of this month, which is like a week from now. So, mm-hmm. yeah, a week from now, it'll be a year. Oh, shit. Okay, okay. So, we, we're going to be having our one-year anniversary this time next next week. Yeah, look, some, something to celebrate that. Yeah, for sure. I mean, it's, it's a major accomplishment. Yeah, yeah, man. What made you want to... Do the, uh, open your own tattoo shop. Um, the 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 whole goal and the mission was to open doors, create opportunities. You know what mm-hmm, I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know what I'm saying. I re- I already had the relationship with Van as as mm-hmm. well as Caesar, mm-hmm. and uh, you know, I, I I yeah. Van and Caesar, okay. Yeah, I um, uh, I you know, we sat down and we came up with the idea. And uh, we brought it to life. Mm-hmm. For real, I mean, you know, I feel like this. I have a lot of associates or whatever, but I can't really call you my brother or my friend or anything like that if we don't make money together. Mm. You know what I'm saying? You're just okay. a regular person. So if you if I call you my brother or something like that, like, and I got a business going on or mm-hmm. you got a business, like, like some type of way we need to be supporting each other, business or possibly making money together. You yeah. Know what I'm yeah. I, I respect that. I respect that. Uh, are you a tattoo artist yourself? Nah, I, okay. I, ain't, I ain't a tattoo artist. I, don't, I mean, but yeah. I will be. Okay, you know what I'm saying. So as I get the time, I'm gonna sit down. Yeah, and and uh, yeah, I'm. Learn, I'm learn I know. It. I know how I am. You feel me? So mm-hmm. anything I put my when I put my mind to it, when I sit down and I do it. Mm-hmm. And plus, I used to cut hair, so you know what I'm saying. It's mm-hmm. it's, it's kind of like in the same field. Yeah, it, yeah. It kind of yeah. requires the same thing. Yep, yep, for sure. Uh, what is like the craziest thing someone has came in here and asked for, like you know, for for you guys to tattoo on him? Uh, I don't know. I mean, I mean, I, I the stuff I seen so far been pretty cool. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, Have y'all ever had to say like, "Nah, bro, we ain't doing that." <laughs> I, if if they did, I wasn't here for it. You okay. know what I'm saying? <laughs> okay. I, what what if someone like just walked in, talking about Doughboy? I want KKK written right right across my chest. Y'all. Man, if, if they got the money, they getting that. <laughs> they gonna get the okay. best KKK they ever got. <laughs> Oh, gotcha. I gotcha. So there's really no line. Just what nah, it's, the it's money a green. It's a business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. When you understand business, you know what I'm saying? You you, you have to be intelligent enough, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying, to choose your battles and understand what you're dealing with. You know what I'm saying? You can't let your feelings or your beliefs get caught up in business. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Because KKK members and Nazis and all, whatever they represent, they, they still spend the same color dollar. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Okay. So we're trying to get the money. As long as they're not coming in here disrespecting us. So mm-hmm. Uh, interfering or uh, what, what, what we got going on, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. I'm I'm gonna tell my artists, hey, put it on them. Mm-hmm. I wonder what the most common tattoo is. Like, do, do you know like what people ask for the most? Roses. I, roses. Yeah. Roses. I feel like names. People definitely names. Yeah, yeah. For <laughs> of sure. course, names is the go-to. But I mean, mm-hmm. I don't really. When you say the thing, like, of course, everybody, you you need, sometimes you need names, you need yeah. words, you need letters to express, mm-hmm. but when we're just talking about, look, look at your shirt. Yeah. What's on your shirt? A rose. <laughs> See what I'm and that's like, that's like the average thing that people come in here and ask for, or if we have an, art, an artist that's trying to audition or whatever, mm. um, in, come for an interview or whatever to try to be an artist that work here, that's one of the, one of the typical things you ask for because any artist should be able to do a badass right. rose for real. I know I got you, and I see you're you're pretty tatted yourself, man. Yeah, I'm tatted all the way. Yeah, up. I know you got a sweater on, but like, yeah. what was your first tattoo? Um, my first tattoo, I was like 15, and mm-hmm. I got 
I think it's it's on his arm. Matter of fact, I got dough. I got D. It's like going down my arm. D U G H, D O U G H. And um, I was li- at this time I was living like on Broadway. You from here? I'm from Houston. Yes. So I was living on Broadway. Okay. And that's that's that's. I, that, 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 I was I stayed around a bunch of Hispanics. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like I'm from South Park, mm-hmm. but Broadway that's, that's like up the way. But that's like where a bunch of Hispanics stay. Mm-hmm. So that's why that's when I was like really grew to love Hispanics. Like you feel me? Like mm-hmm. we actually was raised up with them and uh. My my Hispanic partner, uh, was it who did this tattoo? I think it was uh Renee. Mm-hmm. My partner Renee did it. Either him or Pato. It, one of them did, I can't remember, but they, they I remember they did it with a guitar string. They made they had a gun and they used a guitar I don't know, a guitar string. Yeah. I just remember I was young though and they used a guitar string, they put it in I don't know, they sharpened it some type of way. You know, like the the old, the real guitar string, like the little acoustic yeah, guitar, yeah, whatever, yeah. whatever it is. Yeah, and that, and they they did my tattoo, man. I um Bro, I walked around my, my sleeve rolled up about a year. It was healed and everything. I still had fucking, I still had Vaseline on my shit walking wow. around my sleeve rolled up. Yeah, because you got to take care of it, right? Like, yeah, like but a fresh I was, it was a year later. I was really, uh-huh. I was tripping. But <laughs> it was yeah. my first tattoo. I was excited about it. So it was healed and everything, and I still had my sleeve How old were you at the time? I was like 15. 15, okay, okay. And what was, what's, what's been your latest, what's your latest tattoo? Uh, latest tattoo? I don't know. <laughs> okay, I got. I got to think. It's been. It's been some years. Yeah. Nah. Nah. Matter of fact, um, mm-hmm. one of my. I think this on the bottom part of my sleeve. I went over the whole bottom part mm-hmm. because I had fell off a motorcycle and I had um, mm. I had the road rash had had ate off everything that was right here. So I got that whole bottom part of my sleeve done over by one of the artists here. So you got you got into a, a motorcycle crash? Yeah, I fell off my bike and I. I I had uh burnt all the skin off my arm right here, so mm. the tattoo that was I just, I just got it re- put back on there. Yeah, when was this? When I when, sorry, when I fell? Yeah, uh, probably like two years ago. Two years ago? How did yeah. how did that happen? You just like you just it was just oh uh, they they were doing construction. Yeah, so they would re like asphalt in the ground or whatever, and I was on I, like I said I was on my bike and I went to turn. I wasn't even going fast, but it was just the asphalt the turn and it just slammed me down like Ooh. that. Okay, okay. Do you still ride? Yeah, okay. definitely. I just moved. I ride hogs now. You ride? You ride hogs? Yeah. What's that? Harleys. Harleys. Big dog. Okay. Okay. Big okay. Dog. The bi- okay. Okay. Yeah. yeah. And I've heard of those. I've heard of the Harleys. I got you. Shout out Powerhouse. Powerhouse built my bike. Mm. Yeah. You ever seen a bike with the 30, 30 inch rim on the front of it? No, I haven't. Bags, long bags with the speaking. Yeah. Yeah. Big body. Yeah. I I have to show you that one day. Okay. Sure. Damn. You got uh? You got a name for it? Oh, with my my bike. I I call her Stacy. Stacy. Uh, yeah, Stacy. Okay. Let Let's talk music, shall we? We can talk whatever. All right. When, when was the last time you put out some uh, some music, Dobo? Mm. Mm-hmm. <laughs> My manager must have told you to ask me that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um. <laughs> what that was like? That probably was like three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Probably like mm-hmm. three years ago, I put out the uh, Tales from the Crypt. Yep, and I ain't really dropped anything since then, but I got some stuff. But I just been busy, man. I've been busy working these businesses and mm-hmm. trying to do this, and it's no excuse because I still have fans. And I still have people yeah. depending on me to to put music out. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, no, so, for sure, man, for sure. And you say you have other businesses as well? Yeah. Uh, well, I I I don't have any. I opened up a dry cleaners, mm-hmm. low uh, low dry cleaners. I mm-hmm. opened that up. Uh, this business, I also have a, um, a hookah lounge just opening up on West Time in Dunville. Okay, so like sixty days, God I'll say the same. So. Wow. Okay, so you're you're just trying to you're trying to trying to juggle it out multiple uh, uh, streams of uh, revenue definitely, coming. Definitely, in. that's that's what it's about. That, okay, and wh- when like wh- how did this come come about? Like, what made you like just take a break from the music and just want to like focus on? I mean, I, at the end of the day, it's about residuals. It's about Having residuals, different residuals, different flows of, of income, income coming in, mm-hmm. and rapping music just can't do it by itself. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Like I can't pass music on to my kids. Mm-hmm. See what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So, you know, uh, is you know you gotta know music or uh, hustling or whatever it is you're doing is a stepping stone. It's not a career, so yep. you need to use it as you know <laughs> while you got it. Yeah, you know I'm saying because I know everybody had the money, and then when you blow the money, you be thinking about all the stuff you could have did or <laughs> what you should have did. Yeah. So, you know what I'm saying? That's been me also. So, you know, when I had the chance to do it, 
You know what I'm saying? I, I, I went with my move. You know what I'm saying? I'm still not done. I'm going to keep opening up businesses. I'm going to keep gambling and taking chances. Mm -hmm. Some of them going to get closed down. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. But I, I'm, I'm going to keep on trying it. Mm -hmm. I'm going to keep mm -hmm. trying it because I know that's where it's at. Okay. Okay. Yeah, I mean, we're, we, we, we stay in Houston, man. There's a lot of opportunity out here as well. Um, so, like, with the music, like, when do you plan on uh, uh, dropping? Well... Uh, I don't really like for the tape that I'm preparing to put out right now. Mm -hmm. I don't really have to record anymore. The music is already um, the vocals are already laid. Oh, so I just need to find the time to um, to go sit down with a with an engineer and and get my music mixed and mastered and then go from there. Yeah. But it's already laid down. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I honestly want to get in there and do some new stuff because. You know, I just know I'm in a different space right now. You know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? But I still, I still have good quality music that I need to put out. Yeah, that way I can put out the new stuff. For sure, no, but, for sure, for sure. Yeah. I got you. Okay, and like, is there anyone new that you've been working with in terms of other artists? Man, I ain't, that's what I'm telling you. I ain't really been in the studio. Yeah, the only, I, the no. only, the only um, new artists that I that I was working with is as far as new. Mm -hmm. Uh, 50, 53 baby, you know what I'm saying? That's one of the little homies I was working with. Uh, of course, you know me and Cash out has got stuff, new stuff on the way, like we, that that we plotting on. Mm -hmm. The last song we did, we probably had like 14 million right now. Wally, yeah, Wally. So that's uh, that's that song right there. That, that was the first time I, I I heard of you, man. Like to be honest, like. Cause I'm kind of new. Uh, uh, I I got into like the Houston music scene like a, like a year ago, right? You know, and 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 I heard that. So I actually seen you guys perform it at uh, the Lux Tavern, right? For and, sure. And 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 I was just just blown away, man. Like that song right there. And it, then, I mean, it, it do the same thing to me. Like I I never, I'm never ready for the the response that that, mm -hmm. that it gets. I'm never. I can never prepare myself for it. You know what I'm saying? Because mm -hmm. every time is. It's, it's more and more amazing. It's so random. Yeah, and it's like, random. Yeah, you never you know. know what I'm saying? Yeah. yeah. And, and, and speaking on that, because, like, uh, that, that song, Wildin', um, well, first of all, how did you and Cash Out Ace get connected? Uh, it's, it was, it's, it's crazy. It's a story similar to probably a story you heard before, but uh -huh. uh, as, you can, as you can see, you know what I'm saying, uh, my little homie, he really living what, what he rapping. You know what I'm saying? Cash so... Out. His his father reached out to a friend of mine. My friend of mine and his father was working together, mm -hmm. and he was like, you know, his his father knew that my that my partner was cool with me, and was like, man, I need you to reach out to him for my son. You know what I'm saying? My son out here toting guns. You know what I'm saying? He out here catching pistol case after pistol, pistol yeah. case. And woo, woo, woo. I just wanna get him in his music before he get himself in some trouble. You know what I'm saying? Uh -huh. he re re you know what I'm saying? Whether he do something to somebody or he, you know. You know, I don't want to get wind up getting, getting a bunch of times that he toting guns and mm -hmm. woo woo and really don't get to use his craft. You know what I'm saying? So that's how my partner reached out to me, and I checked out. I checked homie out, and I, I spoke with him, and I really cut it for him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. and because he remind me he, he, at that time, and he still do. Mm -hmm. He remind me of like a Hispanic uh, young boy. That's who he remind me of, <laughs> and I and I can say that because. At the, the point of, of his career where he was at, when, mm -hmm. when I met him, was the same point in, in young boy career when I met him. You know what I'm saying? Right. I actually spent time around young boy. A lot of people can't really? say that. You know what I'm saying? I used to be with little, little bro every day. You know what wow. I'm saying? Okay. If you go listen to some young boys, I could take you right now and let, let you listen to some old young boys. So I was, he shot me out. Mm -hmm. And that's love. You know what I'm saying? I wouldn't even have in the studio, when it, in the studio with him when he shot me out. Mm -hmm. it was just, I was on his mind, on his heart. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? So it's forever love Damn. that. But. Yeah, so when when I met little bro, I was like, man, you you know what I'm saying? You got your own little movement. I'm looking at all your little homies. You know what I'm mm -hmm. saying? All they all fly, they all believe in you. They all rep the brand. So we started working from there. You know what I'm saying? And uh, we rep the same thing. We stand for the same thing. And you know what I'm saying? I I I, I seen a lot in them. I still see a lot in them. How long ago was this? Uh, at this point, probably about probably like two years ago now. Two years ago. Yeah. And then y'all put that song out. Yeah, shit went crazy. Shit went bananas. Yeah, I was actually on the way. Like, I was on the way there. Mm -hmm. You know what I'm saying? You were on I, the way to the video shoot when all the shit went crazy. I was on the way there. Like me, me and my partner. You know what I'm saying? Me and my partner. Uh, they introduced me and we was on the way. We was running late and got got a crazy ass phone call. Like, that's not you're not talking about the music video to Wildin', are you? 
No, we, we shot the music video the wild and the, the music video when all the crazy shit went down. So, the uh, okay, no, I think you're talking about the shooting. Yeah. Okay. Now I want to get the timeline right. So you met Cash Out Ace around two years ago. Uh-huh. Y'all did the song, put it out, went crazy. Sometime after that, y'all did. A, uh, there was another vi- video shoot. Yeah. When all the crazy shit went and down. He invited you to that, and of then course I was gonna be there. You know what I'm saying? As as, as my home, we I was supposed to be there. It wasn't mm-hmm. like it wasn't even. You know, it wasn't a reason for me not to be there. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? What, what, do you know the name of the song that he was trying to do a video for the, uh, on that, on that uh, day? I don't even remember, honestly. Yeah. I don't even remember. Yeah. That was spazzing? That was, was spazzing? spazzing video? Okay, okay. Oh, thank yeah. you, Lavish. Okay. Yeah. Is I, that song I, I, Is that song out? Is, is that song? It is out. Okay. Damn. Yeah, I mean, that was like, what What was your first reaction when you when you get that phone call? Uh, I was shocked. Of course, you know what I'm saying because it wasn't it wasn't even it wasn't even up like that. You know what I'm saying? Not you were long. on the way, right? Like you were, I, like yeah, yeah. Wheels yeah, was, down, yeah, on I the was, way. I was. I actually, I actually had a studio session uh, with my little brother Fred on him, and I was at the studio. And I remember when D called me, he was like, "You know what I'm saying? You're on the way." I'm like, "Yeah, let me wrap this up." You know what I'm saying? They was like, "Everybody meet up." Woo, woo. And I was like, "Let me wrap this up." So I wrapped it up. Boom! By, like when I got in the car, he called me. When I'm leaving the studio, he's like, hey, man, video shoot, got shot up. So I'm like, yeah. I'm like, shit, you talk to Ace? He's like, nah, it's fine, going straight to voicemail. Did Ooh. you know at that time that Ace had got shot? Nah, well, nah, we we, we kind of, you know what I'm saying, we kind of, what was, if we knew it was a possibility, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. but we, we still was Didn't know for sure. hoping that, nah, that wasn't that was, that wasn't what that was, you know what I'm saying, but then somebody that knew me was like, uh, matter of fact, who was it? Who was it? Damn, I might be tripping, but I'm almost thinking it was Chucky Trio that told me that. Whoa. Like, bro, your people shit just got shot up. Woo, woo, woo. I was out there. Mm. I'm almost 100% sure that's who Chucky called Trill me. Chucky Trio called, told called me you that. and gave you the news? Yeah. Yo, that's crazy. Shout yeah. out Chucky. R.I.P. to R. Chucky, R. too. Yeah. That's crazy. That's I'm almost I'm almost 100% sure that's who called me. Mm-hmm. Do you ever wonder, like, man, what if, what if I would have got there earlier? Uh, I, of course I wonder. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. And I, I, I'm, of course, I think just like everybody else think. Mm-hmm. If I was would have been there, things would have been different. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because I just know how how I think. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I'm saying? The whole cash out, the my homies, the my little brothers. You know what I'm saying? But they younger than me, so they yeah. of course they 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 just yeah. in the moment. You know what I'm saying? They they ain't thinking like that now. They they shouldn't have to think like that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? They're not supposed to be thinking like that because it's not up like that. So yeah. I would understand it anyway. Yeah. So. Yeah, of course I think about what if I was there. Yeah, yeah that, that situation really spiraled out of control, man. Like, And for people who don't know what we're talking about, because this happened like a couple years ago. Yeah. Cash out it. Go ahead. Probably about a year and some change, mm-hmm. yeah. Not that long ago. Very no, recently. Really? No, nah, really. Yeah, mm-hmm. I mean, we, we really probably just made it, I think it just made a year or so. Oh, shit. Yeah, it's, 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 it's fresh. Okay, yeah. Yeah, man. And, and so, like, the, the I guess, and, and maybe... You can, you can correct me if I'm, I'm mistaken, but so Cash Out Ace had a music video. He he told a, a, a few friends. He didn't he didn't post it. Like he told nah. a few friends, uh, uh, that, and, the, and they got leaked. Go ahead. It's it's, it's like this, bro. You know what I'm saying? And that's with anybody, but definitely with these these men that's out here. You know, y'all dealing with these women. <clears throat> um, we're not considering or well, taking into consideration. Like, how they can really hurt you, you know what I'm saying, when these women are hurt and they bitter, you know what I'm saying? When they bitter and you hurt them like that, you, you don't never think to what extent they're willing to go, you know what I'm saying, mm-hmm. to get their leak back or whatever. Mm-hmm. And that's, that was that was a similar situation. That what, and is that how they got leaked? Yeah, it, it, it was a female that was cut off, you know what I'm saying? She, you know, she started messing with the dudes that, of course, I'm going to go rock out with the dudes that have a problem with you, you know what I'm saying? And what happened was it was a group chat and a group whatever group text chat or whatever. Mm-hmm. And boom! It would at the drop was was shared there. I forgot that she was even there, up in there because she was once down. Mm-hmm. And boom! She got the drop. She shared the drop. 
I'm just telling you, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, this, 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 this is this, information. This this this, 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 what I heard. You feel okay, me? Okay. Like this, this is a whole different age bracket. Like I said, yeah. first of all, yeah. it's a whole nother race and it, like you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying. This is a, but I'm telling you what was told to me. You know what I'm saying? And if if it was told to me, I'm, I, I feel like it's pretty firm. But this yeah. is what's the, what was being told to me. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? And yeah, that's 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 how the, that's how the address was was Lee. shared. You know to, what I'm saying? To the location of where they wanted to do the music video. And to, to, to like the, the the information that she leaked the information. I, I didn't even know this. That was that's crazy. Right. And so um, again, for people who don't know, explain the story. So yeah, I'm I'm, I'm explaining the story because mm -hmm. when, when when it first happened, like people are so crazy, people are so cruel, people are so heinous. Like people are just they they inconsiderate of man. This man laying here, damn near could have lost his life, you know what I'm yeah. saying? People did lose their life. And some of the people that who who their people lost their life, they they man, they were ugly, bro. Like they they were they were so angry and upset. Now I, I understand their frustration, but they were taking that on him. They were like he like, you know what I'm saying? Like why why would you share it and woo 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 look what you did and talking you know about the saying? loved ones of, of the people yeah, that the two, yeah, the two yeah, kids yeah. that died. Yeah, I heard they weren't they were just cameramen, right? Uh, well yeah one of them was the cameraman, one of yeah. them was the homie, was you know homie. what I'm saying? Okay. You feel me? Innocent people. Uh, you know what I'm saying? Like a lot of people were mad. A lot of people didn't know the scoop. A lot of people didn't even. You know what I'm saying? They just felt they like were mad at Cash Out. Yeah, they was like, yeah, why? Why? Like this? Is what you do? You, it's your fault. You know what mm -hmm. I'm saying? Like you shared the location. Like a lot of people feel like he shared his location or made it or public. People yeah. were able. People feel like the little videos they made a hit before the video when they was loading up the guns. They feel like people looked at the videos and looked in the background like, oh, that's where they at. Nah, somebody gave. Somebody shared the. Somebody shared it. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. Somebody that was you that know, was. Do you uh, know if that the chick that that shared the info? Do you know if she if she was ever uh, uh, you know like charged or anything like that? Nah, mm. nah, I don't think so because ain't nobody really, really, really pursue her, or go after her, or whatever, whatever. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the, end of the day, it's, it's in the game. You know, you know yeah. what come with this. You know what I'm saying? Like, you, like, feel me? It is what it is. I, it is. I don't know. Yeah. At the end, of, I know nobody's nobody's going the extra mile to go whatever. Mm -hmm. About like you know what I'm saying, be on mm -hmm. no police shit or whatever. Yeah, yeah. You know what I'm saying? At the end of the day, you know what I'm saying, we, we lost I, we lost some good people, you know mm -hmm. what I'm saying? It, unfortunately, you know what I'm saying? And it's 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 heartbreaking that that that, that they had to lose their life behind some foolishness. Mm -hmm. But we're also grateful for the people that that that, that God it's about, gave, yeah. Yeah, he shared his grace with it, you know what I'm saying? You yeah. feel me? Not saying that you know, that those people didn't deserve to make it, you know what I'm saying? These people did, but you know what I'm saying, it's just this this the reality of the situation. Yeah, yeah. So that so they everyone's they got the spot and then and then they get ambushed, pretty much. Yeah. That if that's I, I think that's how the story yeah. goes. Did they ever catch the uh the people that did it? Uh I don't know. Like honestly, bro, like we uh, it, like you know what I'm saying? We just we moving forward. Mm -hmm. Yeah. We we moving better. You know what I'm saying? We being mm -hmm. smarter. You know what I'm saying? And we understanding that, you know what I'm saying, you have to you have to you have to um not just think one sided. You know what I'm saying? You gotta mm -hmm. know that, you know what I'm saying, everybody don't like you. Everybody not gonna love you. And you gotta you gotta move as if, you know what I'm saying, there's people out there like that. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? You gotta protect yourself. You have to play play chess. A you lot know of what I'm saying? envious a lot of envious yeah. people out there. Yeah, so you can't take nothing lightly. Every move you gotta you know, you gotta protect yourself and mm -hmm. know your worth. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, and I yeah. think yeah, having people out there with that mindset who 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 don't just pull up to like, you know, for the music video, just just with that mindset, like security pretty much, you know. Like that's important too. Yeah, and I've seen videos of of, of people of of, of people people that have that have made uh you know about the whole situation and who the gunman who the gunman was who was behind it. I'm, I don't want to say his name or anything. Yeah, we're not we we not doing it like that. Yep. That's 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 not our place. You know that's that's yep. their place. And if you know what I'm saying to this day, ain't ain't, ain't nobody around me ain't now one of my people on no point no fingers. Ooh, that's that's not that's not that's not our job. You know what right. I'm saying? That's whoever's job that it is, job to figure it out. And when they figure it out, you know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. you, you know what I'm saying? You, yeah. that, that's for them to deal with that. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So that, that's just where we at with it. Yeah. Uh, and that, that's just what that, I ain't never, I never point no finger and say, mm -hmm. oh, man, did whatever, whatever. If you ain't catching me in that thing, what that is, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So whatever. Yeah. And I, I I just wanted to bring it up because I know, you, you know you're close with him, with, with Cash Out Ace. And, right. And I know he's, he's doing way better now. Right, you know he's putting out putting out some. I just heard some unreleased shit with yeah. him and uh, GT Garza, and, and that's he just yeah. he doing what he's supposed to be doing. Mm -hmm. That's that, that's that's what he's supposed to be doing. He like the worst thing you can do is stay stuck right there. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You you made it out of that. You know what I'm saying? By the grace of God, you made it out of that. 
And the, the, right now it's about like like getting back on track and running running far away from that. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Keeping it moving. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and I, I know you. Uh, so moving on, like I, I heard I heard you mention a, a young boy. Yeah. Yeah. So talk about that real quick, like because he's like the one of the hottest rappers in the in the game right now. Definitely. Like, definitely. Despite you being on house arrest. Right. Out there in Utah. Right. You and know, he's still killing it. Like I ain't, he ain't. He ain't. He, he, like, like you feel me? Yeah. Still without no, no shows, no nothing. Like, if anything, it, like, it gave him more, you know, energy to, yeah. to to do his thing, man. Um, what do you think about the whole, his whole, like the whole everything going on with with him with, between him and a uh, uh, Dirk, you know, trading songs. Uh, and, it just will come with it, bro. Like, yeah. you're a man. I'm a man. We gonna have egos. We are gonna have pride, and mm-hmm. we are gonna have certain shit. We gonna stand on. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Regardless of how the world view it, you know what I'm saying? That, that's just what that is. We, we're men, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? And we just, we, it's going to come down to how far we willing to go mm-hmm. or whatever we that we believe in, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. Um, I was always taught the easiest way to create an enemy is try to change a man's beliefs, you know what I'm saying? If somebody believes this, you got sometimes you got to just leave them where they, leave them, that's what they believe. I, mm-hmm. And who am I to, to, to change that? Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of people fuck up and try to change people's beliefs, bro. Like, <laughs> that's what they believe. Who am yeah. I to say, nah, that's wrong. Mm-hmm. Like, they ain't how I really go like I gotta leave him now I don't want because you don't want nobody to see you and be like here come this motherfucker like, mm-hmm. he know everything yeah. you know what I'm saying so they, you know they stand on what they believe in you know what I'm saying and my, my, my hopes and my prayers that you know what I'm saying to anything yeah right it. Yeah. because it could, it could but you know what I'm saying and it has you know yeah, yeah, yeah. it has yeah. man and yeah. same here man you know I, I mean it's 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 as far as entertainment goes you know it's cool but as long as it doesn't lead into anything uh, you know, uh, anything violent or anything like that. But uh, how how did you how did you get connected with Young Boy? Uh, man, man, one of my partner. Matter of fact, you know what I'm saying. It's still my partner to this day. You know what I'm saying. I got a partner. Uh, his Instagram is for. Uh, we call him Four Five Mail. You know what I'm saying. His name Mail. Okay. But uh, yeah, like he from Louisiana. You know what I'm saying. But like, he, you know, he been back and forth his whole life. Mm-hmm. So he came to me. Same way, it was crazy. Same way, how, 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 why, uh, how Ace Daddy, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was one of my partners. My partner was like, Hey, man, my little partner, bro, he he really trying to do this rap shit, mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying? He hard than a motherfucker, <laughs> like, he got all these views on YouTube. He showing me his videos, he showing me, like, man, got his own little movement. Woo-woo. He really fuck with y'all, he fuck with the sauce, man. He want to fuck you, you got the studio, bro. I really, he really want to come down here and rap. Woo, I'm like, All right, cool, yeah. But he, like, man, he, he got a monitor on this shit, you know what I'm saying? So, you boom. got a monitor. Yeah, he had a monitor on his leg. You know, you know, you know why? Be you know he, he had that uh he had that murder. You know yeah. what I'm saying? You know he had that monitor on his leg about that murder and shit. Mm-hmm. So boom, I'm talking to him. You know what I'm saying? I'm like, I, I like the little nigga. I'm like this little nigga. Wow, all this little <laughs> niggas. Wow, they got all these guns and shit. Thirty round drum, hundred round drums and shit with with the fucking jump man, NBA man. I'm right. like, I'm like, bro, these little niggas off the chain. They shooting videos in the house. You know what I'm saying? He yeah. on house. They shooting all these guns. Yeah, this, this shit doing numbers. So man, the nigga cut his motherfucking thing off and came out. He like, I'm down here. He hit no. me like I'm down. I'm like, bro, you <laughs> off the chain. He like, hell yeah, yeah. So the nigga yeah. at my studio, he fuck with me every day. You know what yeah. I'm saying? Him. Uh, my, my my nigga 2K, his manager, you know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Twin, like all these niggas, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Ben, all of niggas, three, all of niggas. You know, I just I love these little niggas. You mm-hmm. feel like these little niggas, some wild niggas. Right. And all I'm telling them niggas, like, hey, bro, I'm like, y'all niggas gonna make it. But I'm like, look, <laughs> y'all gotta quit riding around with all these motherfucking guns, dog. Yeah. Like, I mean, I understand it back where y'all from, but mm-hmm. you down here, yeah, like, you ain't got no beef with no niggas like that. Mm-hmm. Them niggas went trying to hit that shit. Them niggas had the motherfucking 30s. I'm talking, them niggas had, like, you feel me? Like, it's the thing right yeah. now, but them niggas had a bunch of guns they used to ride around with every day. That, 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 that Pac, fuck the world mentality. That That's type a, of you shit. You know what I'm saying? That type of shit. So, yeah. it was, and I, uh, I plugged them up with my nigga, my nigga Mac. Uh, on the real records, my nigga, I, uh, on, on the real films, he shoot shoot videos and shit. He out of Austin, mm. he drove down from Austin, boom, started shooting, bro. He was shooting all pro videos and shit, and uh, they was rocking out, man. Like little bro was doing his thing, and then I remember he got his first big paid show. I ain't gonna say how much it was. It was a nice amount of money. He was like, man, that was his first big paid show, and here, uh, here in, in uh, it was in Austin. In Austin, okay, that's right. where the Marshalls got him from from mm-hmm. that show. Bro, yeah. no, okay. Got him from that show right there. Yeah, damn. Shit, that nigga Were went to jail. Were you there? Were you nah, there at the, okay. Uh, uh, uh. He went to jail, he came home, it was up mm-hmm. ever since. 
He, yeah. got, he came on from that shit. He was up ever since. That nigga went from whatever many followers he had. He had a million followers that first day, and it was up. It was up. My nigga mm-hmm. ain't look back. Mm-hmm. Uh, hold up. What's the, okay, okay. I thought that was coming from here. There was some nah, some that's sound. That, that's that machine. That's okay. The pop machine. Okay. Okay. So. Okay, so you met, and then as far as the, the I want to get the timeline right again. So, because I know, I know you and Sauce, you know, y'all, y'all, you know, you were one of the original members of TSF. Still is. Right. Yeah. <laughs> For sure. So, like, was this after uh, 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 you, you know, you, you, TSF was established? Was this, uh, you know, yeah. you and Youngboy? Yeah. Okay. Yeah. 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 He, 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 he was familiar with TSF. He was familiar with us. He knew who he was. He fucked with us. It was love. You know what I'm saying? He met Walkie, met Sancho. He, you know what I'm saying? He was yeah. just like anybody, any other 15, 16 y'all coming up in the game. Like, mm-hmm. he was, it, he admired us. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. It was love, though. Like, he went on no dick pulling shit. He was a solid little nigga. That, that, that's why I liked him. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Yeah. No, no. Yeah. Yeah. His music. Crazy hard, man. Yeah. Like, yeah. You know, so much passion in his voice. I always, like, I always think about, like, man, like, like if if Lil Snoop was still alive, man, mm-hmm. them two would be, like, the, yeah, the, like for the, sure. the hardest in the game, right? It's, imagine sure. that collaboration, bro. For sure. Off the chain. Yeah, I never got to be around Snoop, but I, mm-hmm. I can hear it in his music. You know what I'm yeah. saying? I seen the little video clips, but... I've actually been there in the studio with Young Boy several mm-hmm. times. He's, he's, this nigga's serious about his music. He's passionate. Like, yeah. you feel me? Like, he know he know how he want his shit mm-hmm. like, before he even go in there and do it. You know what I'm saying? Like, if you're an engineer that, that want to add shit on people's voice and all this shit as they go, he don't like the he'll tell you, tell you. Because like, he, he kind of know how he hear it in his head. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, this nigga serious about this shit. He go, he go in there and handle his business. And that's why he, where he at right now. You know yeah. what I'm saying? Yeah. What, what part of uh, Louisiana is he from? Baton Rouge. Baton Rouge. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. Uh, yeah, and there's there's a lot of talent out there, man. For sure. real. Uh, you ever you ever besides him, you ever cl- uh, work with anyone out there? Uh, oh, I don't know. I don't. I'm not that I recall. I don't know. I probably did, but mm-hmm. the crazy part, like. I fuck with everybody. Like I, I, I always been big on relationships, bro. I ain't the mm-hmm. type of nigga to meet you, and just because, I, as you can see, I don't give a fuck about music right now. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Because music is really not what got me here. Once again, relationships got me here. Relationships mm-hmm. are having. You know what I'm saying? To open these businesses, I had these relationships. Black ink relationships, I had this. Mm-hmm. So I always cherish relationships. And I, I, I don't fuck with all of them. Mm-hmm. Pussy, I ain't never did no me. I've been around Pussy several times. I fuck mm-hmm. with. If you see me right now, mm-hmm. young boy. Funny Mike, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Funny Mike, he 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 came to my studio around the same time. Uh uh Kane, you know what I'm saying? He, you know what I'm saying? Or uh, uh what's called uh, Tech. Tech. You know what I'm saying? Maine, you know what I'm saying? All these niggas they ought to be on. Same thing or uh, Gates. That's my nigga. I got videos and pictures and you know what I'm saying? Like it's, it's real live love, you mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? Nigga like for real. So, you know what I'm saying? Like I just ain't really, really been big on just music because mm-hmm. that music is it, it, that's not what's timeless. These relationships are, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So I like that. Even to this day, you know what I'm saying? Them people is still love, and the mm-hmm. people know. Like you imagine how many people approach them people on some rap shit. Just feel me, play like we cool, build a relationship, yeah. and we just be like, let's do a song. Like you know what I'm saying? Like you, you get that a million I, times nigga, a I'm day. a real nigga. I know you tired of that shit. I'm not for ask you about no motherfucking music. I, well, we got ain't based on no music. You know what I'm saying? So. Mm-hmm. I know I don't have so I don't have songs neither one of them, but I re- I got relationships. Them niggas see me right now is love. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Like, vice versa, like you mm-hmm. remember that you like you 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 like you you, you experience so many fake people. You know what I'm saying that mm-hmm. when you walk, run into a motherfucker that just genuine and just mm-hmm. fuck with you for you and just treat you like a regular motherfucker, you 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 like you seem to to gravitate to that. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying more. You recognize than, uh, it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You recognize this mm-hmm. shit. So that's just why I'm at with it. I got you know what I'm saying. I yeah. t- I'd always been a regular real nigga without them. Yeah, and and I want to talk about the Houston uh, music scene. Um, who do you like? You know, it, it's in terms of like the, the new wave. It's this new wave. I like all of them. All yeah. of them. Every nigga that's running that that's, that's kicking shit in Houston right now. Them my little niggas. I love them to death. Mm. You know what I'm saying? I, the same little nigga. I spoke life into them niggas. And, 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 and yeah, every one of them. Yeah. Every one of them. I spoke life into the young ass, the little Germans, the fast lane. Them, I love them niggas. <laughs> them niggas, fast real lane. niggas. I can stand on that yeah. because I know them. Mm-hmm. I naturally know them and I know where they come from. And I, you know what I'm saying? Nigga, we, we didn't really, really sat down and had these talks. Mm-hmm. Yeah, I saw y'all had like a, like a little get together the other day. Salt with Sauce. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That, that, was, that was for uh, Sauce White. Uh, uh, signing party, mm-hmm. yeah, for sure. How was that? Man, you already know that's my family. That's mm-hmm. my immediate family. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It 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 was it was great, bro. It was great. 
Just, you know what I'm saying? Anytime that we can come together and have us all there, bro, mm-hmm. and ain't for nothing fucked up. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. So it, it, it was it, it was what it was supposed to be. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? It was yeah. a party, a signing party. Yeah, that's that's, that's real dope. Cheers, business. Are, are, you, are you signed uh, as an artist or are you all, all independent? I ain't an artist, so I can't sign <laughs> as an artist. <laughs> I got you. I'm being real. I'm a hustler. Mm-hmm. But if if you know what I'm saying if if I was an artist I would be I I would be signed you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying mm-hmm. or I would figure we're gonna have to figure something out you know we started this shit together mm-hmm. so you know what I'm saying I, that's my brother so I know I know we're better work something out because I'm a real nigga I'm not making no money off a of rap so if this nigga telling me hey man sign this paper like Sauce Walker my little brother mm-hmm. if he say man dope boy look I'm for to help you make some money off this rap I just want some a little percentage or whatever. Mm-hmm. I ain't gonna be fucked up about it because I'm not making no money off of this mm-hmm. shit. So you telling me a nigga give me an opportunity to make some money off of this shit, some for shit show money, because I see the money my little brother making off of mm-hmm. it. You think I'm gonna be fucked up by giving him some of it? You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. that's that's how I think. I'm a hustler. Yeah. And you I mean you got songs that 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 got like millions of views. Right. So right. I got I mean I got rap money. As, I mean, I just think it's, it's it says something, the fact that like despite you having these videos, uh, songs out here with like millions of views, like that, that, that you know, still real views. step aside, and, real views, <laughs> and take care of other shit. That's how you know, and that's I I, I can't help but respect that, you know, because right. I feel like if uh, if you know um, if there was an artist that did that did drop a song and, and got like three million views, I can't see him like stepping away and doing like starting his own business, like just keep doing music. But the fact that you kind of recognize right. that. It's it's it isn't timeless, like you know. That's right. that's, that's that's uh, I, I respect that, for sure. And and I like the I like the setup you got here. I know we got some fishes. What yeah, kind of no, fishes are these, man? I'm sharks. I'm sharks. Yeah, yeah and, and a bunch of others got Nemo up in there. A bunch of other, other <laughs> little. Nah, no, I'm serious. These like are all it. salt. This is a salt water tank. Mm-hmm. It's a 300 gallon salt water tank. This type of shit that 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 that, that, that we want to bring them. You know what I'm saying? What shit kind of shark is this? This look like a shark. Man, I forgot what kind of that's a real fucking shark. I think that bitch a hammer shark or some shit. It's a shark yeah. though. That yeah. bitch shark and there's another shark in there too. It was two more they got killed. If you if you ain't a, a monster, you can't survive up in there. Everything say, up in there, everything in there aggressive. I'm being, like even fat. the little cute ones. Don't don't <laughs> fall for the bullshit with the little yeah. cute ones. They ready, they ready to run some shit down. Look, they all fuck with him. Yeah, you know? That sucker look fat like he been eating good. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, that's that's the big dog. He running the tank right now. Uh, yeah. Tank boss. Yeah, I got tank that boss. one chilling over there. I like yeah. it. <laughs> yeah, so we just wanted to create the whole ambiance. Yeah. As you can see, we got chandeliers in the ceiling mm-hmm. and everything, man. Got a bunch of Houston legends, man. Oh yeah, man. We you know what I'm saying? Yeah. We got we got to, we got to pay the homage to the to the to the ones that paid. Oh wall, Travis Scott right there. Yeah. Oh yeah. yeah. Zero for show. Sure. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, man. Speaking of Travis, like what did you think about the whole Astro World shit? Man. In life, bro, you can only honestly and truly control but nobody but yourself. You have no control over what nobody else do. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? You can you can strategically try to put things in place or whatever, you know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Mm-hmm. But you don't have no control. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? People, you still have fucked up people out here. You still have evil people out here that, that, that solely came to fuck up your shit. Yeah. I don't know if that was the case. So I don't know if they like their intentions were to like, Let's just run people over. I think there was just a lot of no. People. They said something about people getting stuck with needles and stupid shit. Like oh, but that was confirmed. Like that was that. Oh, was, that was bullshit. Yeah, that was bullshit. They confirmed that. Well, and, and so this so at the end of the day, I, my thoughts are still remain the same. Mm-hmm. Take that away. It's still, you still don't have no control over what the fuck people do. Why I can't make them people stop running. I didn't make them start running. You know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah. I just, I just came to do what I've been doing. You're not thinking this year people are gonna stampede over people, run over people, yeah. kill kids. You know what I'm saying accidentally, you know what I'm saying. It's, no, it's I heard someone crazy. got their face like disfigured, dude, like because it, it stepped on so many times. Yeah, I, was, I, that's what the, so they, they must have been knocked out cold. Had to be because I, at some point I would have covered my face up. So I don't know. I it's, that shit just crazy. Certain shit like that I don't really like to touch on it too yeah. much because it's it's definitely some shit that that we don't know. It's yeah. some shit where you have to know to know what the fuck. It's was a very going touchy, on. man. It's very touchy. And I, I I think it just bothers me that that lot like. People bl- put uh, point their fingers at, at Travis. Yeah, because I kind of feel the same way right. that you do. You know, like it's it's how do you manage something like that as an artist performing? I understand like the organizers, but you know, that, it, I mean, when 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 you're a person that's that's had a 
a clean record or a clean yeah. co- a career, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Like they're looking for dirt. They're looking mm-hmm. for opportunity to to tear you down. Especially when you come from where we come from, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. For real, especially when your skin is black and brown, mm-hmm. see what I'm saying? So it, it, they, they they was looking for that, yeah, man. Like because yeah, he was just really going up. He st- he he st- How did he? How did he do that? He first he, he tiptoed in the game <laughs> without nobody knowing it. People from Houston didn't even know he's from Houston. He had been yeah. in the game, running the game. What like part making, of Houston is he from? From like, Missouri City. From Missouri City. Okay. Yeah, but we'll take him. We'll claim him. We ain't kicking him out. He's part of us. He just yeah. like Missouri City. That's Houston. Mm-hmm. They, they with us. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? It's just like so. That's that's just what that is, man. That man. That man. He went a different route. Yeah, he went. He went the right route. He didn't have to wrestle with all the politics. He went the right route, and for you know, he was in the game with the big dogs. He he, big, he, yeah. he it wasn't no underground for him. At least I didn't see it. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? So you know, a lot of people not not gonna like that. So mm-hmm. they they looking for the opportunity to tear you down. Yeah, and they 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 found it. Yeah, yeah, man. Really, they didn't, but they they, they took something that was out of his, his control and just yeah. they they did what they do. And then there's yeah. all all sort of people making videos saying that if the shit was satanic, and that that yeah. like, oh, I mean that they that, I'm, they I'm are the one, they are the ones that's <laughs> satanic for even making up lies and saying people were getting stuck in the neck with drugs and all that yeah. stupid shit. Like you feel me, and 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 it wasn't one person because it was big. So that means that one person made it up, or y'all sat down and 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 together as a group agreed that this is this is the story we're gonna start. This mm-hmm. the rumor we're gonna start, and it had us believing that it was just fucked up. Of course, it's looking fucked up if you saying people stabbing people with drugs in the neck, mm-hmm. and then just you know like nah, that shit fucked. That that sounds like a setup. Sounds like a trap. Sounds mm-hmm. like they invited everybody out and tried to kill everybody. Of course, you know mm-hmm. what I'm saying. But that ain't even the story. Now the story changing and. It's sounding just like, hey, some people did some wild shit that he don't have any control mm-hmm. over. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Do, do you ever think we'll have another Astro World again? That that that's the whole thing. The council the Astro World. That's mm-hmm. you, that's what you're missing. That's I don't the think whole he's thing. Performed yet since that? Uh, because because. Because you you're not gonna want to perform. You're mm-hmm. gonna say after all this shit I done, like you're gonna be that man is fucking flabbergasted. Like mm-hmm. what the fuck did they really just try to fuck over me like this? Mm-hmm. Like I like you know what I'm saying. After everything I did, like that's because in this go in this game and in this world, they're gonna that's what it's gonna they're gonna do. They're gonna smile on your face, act like they fuck with you, mm-hmm. and, ooh, ooh, and they're they're trying to fuck over you. Yeah, I mean because at I, the end of the day, you still one of us. Yeah, you're not one of them. Yeah, you know what I'm saying. Yeah, no, it's it's, it's heartbreaking because I know he's got to deal with the fact that ten of his fans died, and then he's got to deal with all the the BS. And and, 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 and he he been trying to. You, mm-hmm. It's why he was try, he trying to reach out. He trying to pay for friends. He trying to like what more can I do? I can't bring them back. I didn't I didn't I didn't take their life. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like if, if I could, I'm pretty sure if Travis could do it over, he would. I'm pretty sure. I'm pretty sure he ain't on no all oh, that has nothing to do with me. He's better them than me type shit. He yeah. Not, he not that type of dude. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. So. Yeah, man, very sad uh, situation. Um, what 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 do you like? Whenever you're not doing anything work related, like what do you like to do for fun? Uh, man, I I don't know. I just really, I don't really get fun. I, I be doing shit no. with my doing shit yeah. uh, with my kids. Like you know what I'm saying, uh, I coach little league football. With my son, mm-hmm. my oldest son, my oldest son is in the boxing now. Oh, really? Yeah. So. Uh, who does he tra- what gym? What is who does he train with? He train with Hollow Holland Williams. Okay, okay. Yeah, you know who Holland Williams is? No, oh, no, I, I don't. To boxing? I am. Yeah, yeah. Okay, I, I used to, I used to box too, but I, I, the name rings out. a bell. Go check him out. He okay. pretty, he pretty nice. Yeah. You you act like yeah. He's, you, want, you want you try to call my boy out or something? No. You try to say, oh, okay. I, I interview with, boxers. I just mess with I interview you, man. boxers. So you know. Nah, he, he nice man. Okay. Uh, Holland Williams and, and then he be uh he work out also over there at Four Corners. Or Connor's boxing gym. Okay. Yeah. So you got your son, your boy working with him. Yeah, yeah. He worked with Holland. Holland, Holland Williams be working him out at Four Connor's gym. Four Connor's gym, mm-hmm. and um, Block Block Fitness. No, Monster Fitness. That's mm-hmm. that's Block Monster. Uh, that's his gym. So how does, how does he like it, your boy? That, that that's that's why that's why I'm excited because he he actually love it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So I don't feel like a father that's fortunate forcing nothing up on him. He how old is he? He's ten. Ten. Okay. Yeah. yeah he, no, that's a. That's a good sport to get kids in. Yeah, Even I mean, it, he played football, mm-hmm. and he really like. I, he, I've been having him in football since he was six. Mm-hmm. So, uh, of course, he like this past year he had his like his breakout year. Like mm-hmm. he really did his thing. He mm-hmm. he's really becoming a monster in this year. You know what I'm yeah. saying? So I'm like, okay, what else can I put him in? I don't want to put him in baseball. I want to put him in. 
or basketball because you got people that's that's his age that's playing baseball and basketball that's been doing it their whole life just mm-hmm. like he's been doing football. So mm-hmm. they're going to be way more advanced. I don't even want you to even get into this or get discouraged with this. Mm-hmm. So I'm going to put you in something that supports what you're doing. Yeah. So any football player that has boxing training, that you know what I'm saying, you can't fuck with him <laughs> at all. Yeah, and that's footwork too. You can't fuck with him, yeah. period. His mm-hmm. his hand eye coordination, his endurance, his his discipline, his his his, his everything, bro. Mm-hmm. Damn, okay. I'm saying like you can't fuck with him. Yeah, did did you did you play any sports growing up? I played football. Football. Yeah. What position? Same running back. Running back. Son. Yeah, we both oh, played okay. running back. What high school did you go to? I went to Worthing. Say again. Worthing. Worthing here in Houston. Yeah. Okay. Okay. I got gotcha. you. And speaking of a uh, 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 football, like, uh, have you been keeping up with the playoffs? Yeah, I just I, that's that's why I just came from watching the game right that now. Crazy ass game with uh, I, with my squad now, I, and we ain't been in a long time. I'm a 49 since I was a kid. Oh yeah, yeah. dude, they first they took out the took out the Cowboys. Yeah, took out the the best team in the league, Green yeah. Bay, and now yeah. they're now they're going. They're, yeah. Who they playing? Uh, I'm, I, we, I'm Rams. I'm gonna play the Rams now. Yeah. I mean, shit, I, 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 shit, I was really. I want the Rams to win, but the way they did because I I don't I didn't want to see Brady and Brady my boy and so I didn't you know what I'm saying I didn't <laughs> want to go against Brady yeah but then the way the Rams just did them I'm kind of nervous I don't know but Bro, I'm, I'm, crazy... I'm in for it though did I'm you watch the whole game the whole game damn the whole game Brady almost did what he always do what he always but, do but yeah it wasn't this year they they wanted more they was more hungry yeah Bro. man in Tampa. Yeah, Just like Tampa. they beat them in Green Bay, that's crazy. Yeah, man, that's wild. Yeah, so now we got the Forty ers against going 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 against the the Rams, uh-huh. and then the, the Bengals just won. So I guess they're beating the winners out of uh, Chiefs and uh, Buffalo. I yeah, think Chiefs yeah, that, and that's Buffalo. The, that's tonight, right? Yeah, I think they're playing right, right now. Right. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, for sure, man. All right, um, and I did want to ask you this because I know you got a lot of things going on. Uh, how do you how do you manage? And, and balance everything you know that you got going on from the from the tattoo shop to the to the cleaners to the music and and everything else that you're working on. With help, I can't do it without help. Yeah, my, my, my manager, my manager, I'm her manager also. Mm-hmm. Lavish, shout out lavish, <laughs> and the whole lavish ways. Yeah, or uh, company, <laughs> mm-hmm. Jock and uh. Uh, my you know what I'm saying my receptions, my people that work for me at Black Ink, uh, Mo, uh, um. Van, um, you know, we do it together. My artists, all the artists that work here. Um, I got, uh, like, I got different contractors and everybody. Like, I I, I, I use help. I, I need the help. For my Everybody around me kind of help me with what, what I'm trying to do. You Are you the I'm one saying? who does the interviews, like, you know, for, 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 like for your employees? No, okay. of course not. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> I, ain't, I, I mean, no. Nah, yeah, uh-uh. I got you. Uh but yeah, I mean, I'm I'm actually about to start being more hands on. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? I'm about to start being at the shop more. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? Just really being more hands on with it. Yeah. Do Do you smoke? What do I smoke with? Like weed? Like do you like just in general? Uh, sometimes. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Garden occasionally. Okay. Yeah. When Whenever you were doing music, would you kind of like need a smoke before you nah. created or no? Uh. Uh-uh. Nah. I I mean. I don't know, I, I because I honestly just just started back smoking. I hadn't been smoking in years, bro. Mm. Like probably like ten years. So I just started smoking back smoking off and on. You know what I'm mm. saying? Mm-hmm. Were you ever into the the whole lean culture? Yeah, 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 for sure. Okay, okay, for sure, man, for sure. I came up in that era, like if you yeah, I was gonna say, era, yeah, drank it, sir. Yeah, I was gonna say, yeah, man. And and you're you're from. You're from Houston, right? Yeah. Born South and raised. Park. South Park, right? Yeah. right. Okay. Hershelwood, Zion Hood, Lil Kiki. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Uh, what was your What was your upbringing like, man? Uh, well, I mean, my my upbringing, I, it was good, honestly. Like I, ain't, I'm, I'm not, I'm not, never been the guy to sit here and cap or try to make myself seem whatever, whatever. You know, people be getting on at me like, man, I ain't never had shit. My mama smoked crack. I was living in the crack. Mm-hmm. I, that wasn't my story, bro. I'm mm-hmm. keeper the stack. I ain't never been to TYC. I ain't never been to none of that. I ain't never been to the boys' home. I ain't never been in no trouble. I ain't get in trouble till I was 19. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I've been out here the whole time by the grace of God. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? And I know all that is because my upbringing. I was raised in like in, a, in like my grandfather was a pastor. My grandmother was, you know what I'm saying? Like oh, they, they, okay. they was in they was in the church. And that's who raised me, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. So that's how I was raised up, honestly. You know mm-hmm. what I'm saying? But I just 
my daddy was a hustler, my mama was a, it just was in me, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. it was just like, so, you know what I'm saying, first chance I get, you know, I want to go, I, 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 you know, I was I was gravitated to the hustle, you know what I'm saying? So yeah. that's how that happened. It, just, it, it wasn't, it had nothing to do with my upbringing, bro, you okay. know what I'm saying? So uh, I made it all the way till I got 19, bro, caught my first case. And mm. shit, it was kind of like a downward spiral, you know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. And shit, it just didn't stop. Kept going to jail, kept, before you knew it, I looked up, boom, 10, I gave people 10 years of my life. Really? You know what I'm saying? In and out of jail, so I've uh, been on since, 2000, since 2013, bro. Mm-hmm. Been, uh, I'm, here. Mm-hmm. I'm here. Wow. Yep. 10 years. Yeah. And when when did that moment come for you, like, like okay, like, it's time for me to just, like, get what, my The, the last time I went down... Yeah, uh, I had my son, my first, my firstborn, mm-hmm. and you know what I'm saying I had never been uh like really been locked up like that with with a child out there, like you know what I'm saying yeah. for sure, like a newborn like me, you know what I'm saying. So it was the it was the roughest time I ever did. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I'm, just, I'm talking about serious. It was the smallest things I ne- ever had, but it was so hard. It was hard as hell, and I just knew like this is it. I can't do this. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying like. I can't do it. I just knew it. So I, what I would do every day when I would go through it, I would just remind myself that, that whatever I'm going through, this is the last time I'm going through it. So just mm-hmm. go through it. Yeah. Just go through it. Get through it. Cause when it, when when it's over, when it's over, it's, it's a wrap. Yeah, and you've been you've been grinding ever since. Yeah, yeah. And let's. I want to talk. I want to uh, uh, like learn your your relationship with with Sauce Sauce Walker and how that right came about. You know, and then the, the whole TSF and how that got started. Well, Sancho, Sancho is my cousin. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying, but that's 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 not what where where we start this relationship or whatever us coming together and forming TSF. Mm-hmm. Uh, my partner M Ten, M Ten knew. I just came home, and my godfather R I P. Mm-hmm. He just passed away in September. Uh, he had the rep record label, the Politician Entertainment, which was a household name here in Houston. You know what I'm saying? Like mm-hmm. we would make already making big ass moves. You know what I'm saying? Like for real, we was on BET and all this what shit. What was it called again? Politician. Politician. Okay. Yeah, yeah politician. Um, Your grandfather. Okay. Yeah, my godfather. godfather. Um. So, anyway, so when I came home, with, uh, our artist, you know, what I'm saying his name, his name Dez. He from Dead End. You know what mm-hmm. I'm saying? He, he had videos with Slim Thug, songs, Big Crit, you know what I'm saying? Boom mm-hmm. Town videos, you know what I'm saying? All this shit. Like, so when I came home, I was strictly on some, on some, on some CEO shit. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Everybody like, man, what's up? When you gonna rap? When you gonna drop some? I'm like, nah, bro. I'm just focusing on my artists. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, I ain't on no rap shit. They like, nigga, they like Birdman still rap. Like, when you gonna drop some? So, <laughs> boom. I, you know what I'm I sit down and I go to put me a tape together. You mm-hmm. know what I'm saying? So. I'm, you know, I'm back outside. Just came home, swole, looking good. Got my jury, jury up. Everybody fuck with me. So mm-hmm. you know what I'm saying. My buzz is coming. I'm getting ready to drop the tape. So boom, <laughs> you know what I'm saying. M10 come to me with, 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 with he like, man, you gotta check my nigga. So I was walking out, like this nigga hard, woo woo woo, man. He really hard, bro. He just trying to do this rap shit. So yeah. boom, me and Walk link up. I remember we link up. We link up in the hood. Instantly, you know what I'm saying? We we connect. Yeah, you feel me? It, it just be like that. that like like them, them young niggas be loving the nigga. It be real because they be they they know I come from where they come from, and I'm really like crack kind of like I ain't gonna say crazy, but mm-hmm. like I, I'm I, I was a motherfucker just like y'all. I just got older, you know what I'm saying? Yeah. So we sit down and we run it. You know what I'm saying? This it's just me and him. You know what I'm saying? Mm-hmm. Like M10 gone, he he gone doing his thing. We linked us together. We rocking. So boom, we sit we we sit right there in the hood, right there in the front yard. Come up with a song. Mm-hmm. Boom, that Dada. I don't know if you heard that song, Dada. Dada. Man, yeah, it's called Dada. It's me and, me and Sauce Walker. That was your first collab? Yeah. Mm-hmm. Shit, we went to the studio late that bitch down. Fire. Yeah. Fire, bad motherfucker. And uh, we sat down, man, we, and we was like, you know, what we going to do? So we wanted to go with South Park versus everybody, but mm-hmm. it, it it wasn't like a universal. It wasn't universal. And, mm-hmm. and everybody went for South Park. You, right. You, you had people from everywhere with TSL. So we, 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 we went with Sauce. Mm-hmm. Sauce. That was it. Who who came up with with the TSL? Man, Walk Walkton was already like like I already had the idea okay. of forming it and everything. You know they what I'm saying? Had that going. Yeah, all all I did was at that point when we came up with that, I all the all the contacts, relationships that I had, mm-hmm. that I had built over the years from DJs to like 
Miss Megan to Orbit to mm-hmm. uh, you name them, bro. You know what I'm mm-hmm. saying? Like, boom. I was like, man, look. It's connected them. Fuck my tape right now. I need y'all to focus on these twins. Mm-hmm. Sauce Twins, they the hottest shit coming by. Woo, woo. Sauce Walker and, and, and Sancho. And Sancho. Okay, okay, okay. And that's uh, and it's been history ever since. Um, is there anything is there anything you wanna you wanna say before we before we wrap up? Um I don't really got too much to say, man, but mm-hmm. to anybody out there, you know what I'm saying, I always tell y'all this for anybody out there having doubts, anybody that been through some shit, anybody been to prison, anybody had been on top and fell off, anybody that's been divorced or left or you know what I'm saying, anybody that's in the shelter and, and, and that was that was on that shit and doing it at the in the peak of your life, you were just living so good and shit just went all the way wrong. And and now the world and, and people are trying to like knock the fight out of you or or discourage you and, and 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 it's actually starting to work and you're starting to really feel like like this is it for me. I'm just for the wind up homeless or I'm for to just lose it all. Like all my dreams or whatever I was gonna do or that they're no more. Man, listen, I am a living witness. I'm a living test testimony that, bro, just stay down. You know what I'm saying? Don't let nobody kill that don't don't let nobody take that nobody steal your hope you know what i'm saying because when i was in prison i never thought i would be where i'm at right now bro Mm -hmm. like for real yeah but the crazy part i knew that i was going home to do something great Mm -hmm. god he didn't tell me that and how i'm talking to y'all but Mm -hmm. i felt it like he he told me this Mm -hmm. i knew i was gonna go home and do something great so that's 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 i mean talk coming from a person that's a Mm -hmm. i'm gonna say a three-time loser but i have more feelings but i've been to prison three times Mm. See what I'm saying? Like, I, I, done, I done lost it all, got it back, lost it. I done went through all this shit. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, I'm here right now. Like, they, they didn't picture me like this, bro. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? I don't look like what I've been through. Mm-hmm. So, at the end of the day, I'm just here to say that if I can do it, I know y'all can do it. Mm-hmm. For sure. And I ain't just saying this because this shit sound cool. I'm telling you, I come from where you come from. I, I've been through what you've been through, probably even worse. Still going through it, but I'm here. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? Like, God took me and used me. Now people look at me in a certain light, in a certain, you know what I'm saying, to the point mm-hmm. where I got to tell them, hey, man, it ain't me. I, to God be the glory because mm-hmm. I can't take the glory for that mm-hmm. because I wasn't shit. I was a piece of shit. Mm-hmm. I wasn't nothing. Like, to the world, they didn't respect me. Mm-hmm. But they respected me, the shit that I, the, like, as a person, but they ain't the power. You know what I'm saying? They ain't give me that power. Like, they, they ain't, mm-hmm. they, 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 you know what I'm saying? But now, Motherfuckers, you got to say that. Like, you got to, you know what I'm saying? You got to enter, like, who is that? They're going to ask you, who is that? Oh, that's dope. Yeah, that's dope. Well, he on black man. Ooh, yeah. You know what mm. I'm saying? So, or, yeah, he part to himself. Ooh, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. for real, man. Like, by the grace of God, I was able to come home and, and do make history. Yep. Oh, that's that's historical. Yeah. Both of those. Black Ink Houston, historical. Mm-hmm. TSF, historical. You know what yeah. I'm saying? And you got a lot of rappers. They ain't even from Houston rapping it and, and, and using the saying? lingo and so, shit. And by the way, saying? I want to ask, like, does that does that uh, bother you when you hear other, like, because I know Sauce. At the end of the day, like, yeah. it used to, but when I think about it, at the end of the day, imagine you having a movement and you trying to get this motherfucker movement, you trying to create lingo and make music. Mm-hmm. And nobody repeats it or nobody follows it, mm-hmm. right? Yeah, you're not a fucking. <laughs> so you create this shit, you set trends for people to follow them. Mm-hmm. So why we can't get mad because the world is, is is gravitating to it? Now I'm upset when a motherfucker trying to steal it and take the credit Claim and all. It as yeah, like don't do that. Don't yeah. do that. <laughs> don't I know. That. I know. Sauce had his. Uh, he had his. Uh, Sauce Walker had his uh, whole thing with Drake. Yeah. Was yeah, that that, that, that was that that had nothing to do with that. Oh I mean, no, okay, okay. It, that was a part of it because he's he's seeing like you, you all right? Just like me coming to Mexico, mm-hmm. right? Mm-hmm. And I'm acting like, I of course I'm not from here, so I'm gonna fuck with you. Mm-hmm. I'm gonna say I fuck with him, like you know what I'm saying. But I'm but while I'm here, I'm 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 I'm, I'm using you and your, everything around you mm-hmm. to my advantage. You know what I'm saying? I'm learning y'all style. I'm making. Fucking reggae thong now. I'm making fucking salsa music that mm-hmm. these niggas can't make because they ain't welcome over here in Mexico. But I'm here with you. Mm. But I, but in between, you said it like, "Hey, bro, what's up? We gonna do our reggae?" You know what I'm saying like, not yeah. I'm not really riding you. But matter of fact, I'm not even asking you. 
I'm, you know what I'm saying? I mean, you're not even asking me. I'm mm-hmm. telling you, like, bro, you know what I'm saying? I fuck with this record right here. I'm going to get on this motherfucker. Woo, woo. So uh, over time, you can be like, you steady seeing. I'm steady coming, though. Mm-hmm. But I'm steady coming. I'm leaving. Come back, fuck with you again. I'm with you. I'm with you. You know what I'm saying? We over here, boom. They give me the pass. I'm getting all, I'm getting all the women, all the money. Mm-hmm. I'm setting up shows over here to my salsa song and shit that I make because I know it's what y'all like. Mm-hmm. And we never getting to this record that I'm steady telling you that I'm going to do. Mm. But I'm telling you this right here to give you that false hope or whatever. I'm, that's how that's how you feeling anyway. You know what I'm saying? Oh, Maybe God. I didn't get around to it. I ain't never got it. But I'm steady telling you, and time steady going by, and I ain't did this. So mm-hmm. after a while, you are gonna be like, bro, what? You know what I'm saying? Yeah. Like, so your you perception know? of like that whole situation was like, yeah, yeah. Like so, Drake, you know, adopting the sound, the lingo. Yeah. And it sounds like from you is that is that sauce like. It was a little bit upset because th- he had a song. Th- like Drake, they wanted to collab. He wanted Drake to collab. You know, Drake told him he was going to do that. So who oh. the fuck would want that if you tell me this nigga, this is Drake? Yeah. You know what I'm saying? So Drake told Sauce, I'm going to do a song with you. I ain't sweating it. Yeah. I ain't begging, but I'm like, after a while, I'm be like, bro, you're on some bullshit, bro, because you said you was going to do that, mm-hmm. and you ain't did that. Mm. Like, it, like that's just how we is like, as, as a man. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, you gonna, I'm not going to, I ain't got to hold you to your word, but mm-hmm. You got to stand on that. You said that, dog. You know what I'm saying? It's yeah. not going to hurt you because this is a hot record. You know what I'm saying? It's going to help both of us. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? But we ain't never, we, we ain't never getting into all that. Maybe maybe Drake was too busy. Yeah. Whatever. You know what I'm saying? But He's done that, it for other That's the real. Why, why people, because people, are like, I know the real, bro, about a lot yeah. of shit. All the shit. Like, because I'm there. Yeah. So I, the world was like, oh, he crying about a feature. Like, it ain't that. Like, mm-hmm. nigga, I ain't need that that feature. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But if a nigga give him his word and violence and saying, I fuck with this whole act like I'm fucking with you. Like, show me you fucking with me. Don't, 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 don't play on my top like that. You mm-hmm. feel me? That's all that was about. Mm-hmm. You know what I'm saying? But that shit, that, that, that shit over with. That shit yeah. dead. Like, you know what I'm saying? They heard they squashed it. They even. Yeah. Made amends. They I, I just I right? on some respect shit. Yeah. Okay. As a man, like you can't be walking around that shit. Oh. Yeah. Nah, motherfuckers I die every day, so motherfucker, let's let's might well moving lead forward. Up. Yeah. You know what I'm saying. <laughs> you never know. For sure, man. Well, hey, thanks for coming on the show, man. Thanks for allowing us to do the interview here in your your spot, uh, Black Ink Houston on on Richmond Richmond Ave. Seven Twenty Seven Richmond Avenue, right across mm-hmm. Richmond Sounds Boat. Okay, you guys open all week. Yes, sir. Okay, for sure, man. Well. um, Again, thank you, and thanks, everyone, for tuning in to another great episode of the Jedediah Podcast. Y'all make sure to hit that subscribe, and stay tuned for the next. Peace. Look, I gave it everything I had, dog. Hey, my dad, dog. I'ma snatch a bag, dog. Wrapped up a tune with a squad and a flag, dog. Hanging with the trap, I still chopping down a tan wall. I'm known in the city for my hard work. Look at me, I can show you how I crown work. Blow my wrist till my watch finally drowned first. For whatever stop, you'll be in the ground first. Huh. If you don't want it, then get back in line.